Okay, here we are. Mm, maybe this, maybe we don't need all of them, but I'm gonna try to get all of them. Okay, we're missing two of them. Those are positioned on page 34, and then it's a combination of page 51 and one. So let's do our first thing. Now let's try standing in the water for 60 seconds to see if that gets us what we want to see. Okay, here's some water. I'm gonna stand in it. Okay, that's over 30, 60 seconds. Let's see if anything's changed. Ha ha, something has appeared. What does that say down there? It says the, uh, no, I can't remember what that symbol is. The soft, softest, the softest feather corrected. Corrected 11 times, departed once more. What? The softest feather. I'm going to write this down. Yeah, that is what it says. The softest feather corrected 11 times, departed once more. That sounds like a clue. I have no idea what it means. Okay, no, 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 no. This is page one combined with page 51? Is that it? 51, where's 51? Here, the softest feather. Um, muffling bell. Uh, it is a clue. I need to know what it means. I may have to take a break and think about that. That's a haiku, by the way. Softest feather, what could that mean? Or, uh, anklet? I don't know. Muffling bell? Corrected 11 times. I have no idea what this means. Uh... Okay, on to the last one, page 34. It's on the atoll, right? Page 34, there's a chicken. Maybe it means get all the chickens? Maybe do something with the chickens? Oh well, time to go back there and see. Is this the way? It might be. Oh, hey look, a chicken. You got something for me? Oops. <laughs> that goes out of the way. Gotta do something with the chickens. Have to kill all of them? I caught ya. There's one. Just splats. <laughs> Any whoa, there is just secrets abound. Ha <laughs> ha, more grass completion bonus. What's over here? Nothing. I could quick get a oh, this is how you get this chest. Ah, uh, oh, it's the bracer. It says found. An item. Awesome. I did not get an achievement for that, despite it being the last one. I don't think I want to put it on though. Just like a attack down, defense up. What? Why isn't exiting the menu? Huh. We got it. We figured it out. Can I dash back across? That'd be awfully funny. I can. <laughs> Okay, well, I gotta do something with chickens. Oh, hey, look at that. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah! Oh, also, I can come down here, apparently. No, the chicken. <laughs> With a gun back on. 
Chicken dead. Okay. Let's see if there are more chickens. You know what? Let's look at the map again to see if there's any more notes. It's... It looks like it's just... The only note I can see is there at the chicken and the, um, the musical notes. I'm not seeing any other notes. Maybe I should go to the pillars in order, but no, all the secrets are based on handwritten notes, right? So... Do the chickens sing notes? I didn't know, they just, they just saw me and ran away. Stupid chickens. I'm only standing here. Not hearing any sounds. There's something else to do with the chickens? Are they trying to run in a pattern? Doesn't look like it. Oh man, to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of tired of playing this game. I'm tempted to just look it up. It's just a chicken. And it does look excited like it's trying to run away. I don't hear anything as chirping. Yeah, it's just running away from me, not in any pattern. I found more grass. You know what that means. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 I just found a new area! <laughs> Is that on the map? I'm off the map. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to figure it out, but hey, we found a thwomp. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah. I got Kevin. Bonamath is the achievement. I think it says congratulations. No, it doesn't say congrats. Yeah, it just says congratulations again. That one wasn't completely gold. It was part red. Okay, so I'm standing in a different location, and it is saying that right there, it still has the same picture. So I think I want to go back to the place where I was last time. So right here, something about a feather. The softest feather, corrected 11 times, departed once more. Okay, so I just tried doing this pattern 12 times and uh, didn't do it. Okay, so what could that mean? There's no feather items. There's no feather stamps. Feather? We haven't seen anything about a feather at all in this game, have we? This feather? Kind of feather like. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. Man, this item has been of no use to me. So this definitely looks like a path. So... Yeah. Uh, right, down, right, up, left, up. I mean, it is on the map. It's... It's that golden bit right down there, where I'm standing. But yeah. Feather. There's no feather anywhere in here, is there? There's birds. Maybe feather as in feather bed? Maybe I have to go to sleep 11 times? Uh, wait a minute. There's a, there's a place back here? Didn't know about this. <laughs> it 
Secret treasure chest. So many secrets in this game. I love it. You know how I feel about secrets. All right, I'm going to try going to bed 11 times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay, time to see if that was the answer to the riddle. Depart once more. I don't think so. I don't see anything. Oh, I see it now. There's a little arrow between the Crabbo and the Envoy pointing to the left. I didn't I have no idea why I didn't see that before. Oh, well, that was that. Well, we can talk to some NPCs now. Well, well, well. Oh, what was that? Sorry? Are you... Canadian? Sorry? Is the developer Canadian? I think I might have heard that. I ran a store... Once. I ran a store once. People... Use... Use... Usually steal stuff, though. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like uh, adventures to me. I'm so tired. And this is how I figured out the letter Z. Have you found... The Holy Cross? Yes! Trying out a new look? Yes, I guess I am. The cathedral sta stares... The cathedral stares me... The cathedral scares me, but I've heard there's an incredible treasure. It's ca cal called the Hero's Laurels. I have them. There's more people. I know there's someone in the West Garden, and I know there's someone in the forest. What happened? What happened? Uh, I feel sad when I look at you at it. Oh, hello. I used to vi vi visit the gardens, but it's scary now. Things are more r beautiful when they are ruined. Are you sure? Do you agree? Um, not, not unequivocally. Like I think, I think ruins can be beautiful, but I don't think it's always the case that they're more beautiful than when they were not. What's up? 
This, when one is dead, they use to be Alice keep cards cards guards isn't that isn't that the vowel for air to guards oh whatever I think they used to be palace guards but now they are for flowers now they're guards for flowers, I guess. Hello, fisher guy. Fish, fish, fish! I'm fishing for fish. That's nice. Hmm. This might actually be the place that that hint was talking about. I don't know if I mentioned this. But there's one that says, Under the moon, complete the prayer near an ancient tomb. Plundered for its blade lies a special place. So we're under the moon right now. Near an ancient tomb. That could be the hero's grave. I was thinking it was the original hero's grave. But this one... Yeah, right there, there's a golden path. Not a golden path, but... Um, uh, a place to open right here. And there was a sword here. So it could be right here. Uh, let's try it. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. Nope. Okay, here I am in the west, east forest again, and the hero's grave with the sword is over this way. So this might be the place I'm supposed to do this combination. Path of the hero's grave. Once, one of, I want to read that actually. East Forest, Ruins of Fortress. One of many ways. to the hero's grave. All right, where was the treasure? Right here? I'm gonna try the combination right here. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. Ha! What did I get? <laughs> no way I could be mad at that. No way. That was hilarious. You'd go through the trouble of translating the whole manual, find a secret riddle, figure it out, do a thing, and you get one coin from it. <laughs> I'm so happy I did that. I'm dancing the... Dance of the Holy Cross. Yes, you are. Oh, I finally understand. This platform takes us to the library. It was removed from the cathedral and placed in the library. I I see. That's why there's these things here. And, and uh, that's why there was that spot at the cathedral where it looked like there should have been a teleport, but there wasn't. All right, what's up, librarian? Have you gloat? Hear you gloat? I id idiot. You did it. You ruin really released the air and. Now the this and now this. Now you wi will must now you must either defeat it and 
take its place or find the Holy Cross and share your wisdom. Good luck with that. Okay, so no hints on who I'm supposed to tell this to. I think it's supposed to be... It would make sense if it were supposed to be... Um, all of the, the... The... Whoever we speak to after we get all the treasures. That was only one left. It has to do with a feather. I don't remember... I don't remember if there are any feathers anywhere. So, where do I want to go next? West Garden, I've already been there. Quarry, can't go there. Ruined Atoll, the air, Eastern Vault. Eastern Vault, there's some NPCs there. And uh, the direction to the cathedral. All right. Oops. Wow. The siege engine was not enough. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's all the text here. One thing I kind of just noticed is that he doesn't always hold the sword. He holds whatever weapon, whatever item you just used. Do this, let's hold the gun. This, hold the that thing. This, okay, I didn't drink it because I'm at full health, but holding a potion. Hello. Have. Hi. Are you new? Where is your house? Where is your home? Oh, hi. I'm j just t taking a break. Are you going to the swamp? You're brave. To you... Wait. Yeah, do you... Seek the cathedral. Re remember that you are not nothing but a ghost. I'm not anymore. I don't think you can go get into the cathedral without moonlight but the but then again how's how how's who's uh what does that say heroes are so sir surprising <laughs> a big fight was at here a long time ago are you are or late last week It's all bl blur blur blurry. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, so I think that's all the NPCs I'm gonna look around for. All right, I'm gonna think one more time. What could the feather possibly be about? Softest feather. Honestly, I'm at the point where. I want to finish this game 
and I I don't like the the dopamine reward for figuring this out on my own is not significant compared to the you know it's not really enough to keep me doing the same thing for so long. Let's see, does this? Ah, uh, it just goes over here. It ends over here, so we can't like chain these together. Okay, gotta do my due diligence and try to figure out one last thing, something about a feather. You know, I've gotten to the point where uh, I've spent so much mental effort on thinking about this riddle, this one last riddle, that part of me just wants to look it up. You know, I got to that point when I played the base game of Baba is You long before I started my channel, I actually looked up some of the last meta puzzles uh, and I'm disappointed that I didn't just wait until I was ready but also you heard me if you saw me play Bonfire Peaks you saw some of those later episodes I was like oh when is it done I just want to look it up I get that way when I play a game that is cognitively demanding for so long and at this point in Tunic it's like what reward will I get from figuring this out on my own I kind of I really just want to be done with the game so, I, I honestly have no idea what this could mean. There's feather. I've never seen anything about a feather at all in this game. So I have to confess that I am going to look up how to get this one final shiny thing. No. No. This is ridiculous. Oh no, Andrew. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, it's it's synonyms. This is nonsense. This is bullshit. <laughs> I, I do not feel bad about looking this one up. Okay, so we're talking about synonyms for words. Softest feather is a synonym for down. Like down is another word for feathers. Correct is a synonym for right. And departed is a synonym for left. So I think this wants me to do down, right, left. Didn't do it. Down, right, left. Oh, it said 11 times. Uh, corrected the softest feather. So down, corrected 11, left once. Down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, left. Um, maybe it's down left 11 times then, or down right 11 times then left. Down right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, left. It's doing nothing. Okay, down right 11 times, left once. Okay, and here's the point where I'm tempted to <laughs> tempted to look it up again. Down, right 11 times, left once. Okay, okay. Maybe I just didn't do it right. Down, right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, left. Uh, thinking I... I'm so, so sorely tempted to just look up the answer again. I looked up a hint. I looked up a hint. Yeah, and now that now it's gone. <laughs> Gotta wait another 60 seconds before I want to be able to read that again. Uh, anything else from 51? Like any hints in here? Have you... Did you keep... Did you... Retain the letter from us. Immerse it in water for 60 seconds to see a secret message. I'm trying to think, are any of those synonyms for directions? No, I don't think so. So right here on page one, it shows this spot right here. 
So down, right 11 times, then left. I'm looking it up. Okay, so the internet said it's not left once, it's left 12 times. Because 12 is once more than 11. So up, no, down, reset, down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What? Down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Come on, internet. What's your problem? Okay. Okay. There we go. Got it. Oh, my. That was ridiculous. Nonsense. Bullshit. Uh, most of this game has been a delight. Most of this game. Okay, we have found all of the treasures, and now, look at this. Look at all of these treasures. I think it says congratulations. Time to go in here and see what happens over here. Okay, nothing is different once we get all of them. However... There's a hint that says unsing the song of the golden path from within. A bunch of stuff. So, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to try doing the golden path backwards. Down, right, down, left. Oh my god. Down, right, down, right, down, right, up, right, up. I mean down, left, down, right, up, up, left, left, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, Right, up, left, left, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, left, left, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, left, up, left, down, right, down, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down. I didn't do it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Okay. Each of them... Hmm. Each of them has a symbol by him. This one says... Oh, I wonder if we're supposed to read something off of here. It says... Oh, that's not... That doesn't make any sense. That's not a symbol. This says... Lao. This says... Me. Huh. Oh my god, I'm... I'm worn out. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to make of this. I've been playing for over an hour. Maybe two hours. Okay, well, I don't want to just give up. I think I'm going to have to play this another time. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of this play session. Okay, so just in case, I'm here in the West Garden. In case, because there was a, a sword that we found around here, just in case this code does something also here, let's try it. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. And just in case I did it wrong. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I had a couple thoughts between play sessions. It's been a few days. I thought that, you know, I was wondering who it could be that we're supposed to share our knowledge with. And I had two possibilities. One could be the air. But then that doesn't make that much sense because for one, how can you input the golden path while they're trying to kill you? And for two, um, they already know it because why else would they be trying to kill you? And so the second thought I had was that perhaps we want to share it with the librarian. Because remember in the story it said 
um, especially in our translations, it said the, tra the librarian was trying really, really hard to figure out the secrets. So we'll go at the very end of this episode, we'll go and show, share the golden path with the librarian. But for now, I want to, okay, I'm right here on the page. I want to try to figure out what is up with this room. So I'm going to quickly read this. Find some rare golden statues. Got all those. Check. Traverse the glow to visit 12 strange beings. All right. So that must be this here. These are 12 strange beings. Three. Unsing to them the greatest song, the song of the golden path as seen from within. Okay, the song of the golden path as seen from within. So, um, I think unsing and as seen from within are two hints to mean the same thing because the golden path ends in the middle. So I am going to try going through the golden path backwards once and seeing what happens. Darn it, I messed up. So uh, everything changed, so I'm going to go out and go back in again just to see if, um, just to make sure, make completely sure. So one thought I had is that each one of these will tell us something, will spell something out as we're going through the golden path. Um, however, some of them just show nonsense symbols that aren't any sound at all. So another thought is that once we get all the way to the end, they will show us a final secret message. So let's try that first. Okay, so I've gone backwards through the whole golden path. Um, I did look at the symbols while I was doing it, and so for one, I'm not a hundred percent sure I did it perfectly, but for two, um, I did notice I didn't notice any time where it made something that was not a symbol. So, now I'm gonna look around to see all these. That's a symbol. That's a symbol. That's a symbol. Yeah, yeah, these are all symbols so far. So I'm gonna write down everything it is starting here and going counterclockwise. My background's in physics, in physics we do everything counterclockwise. Oh uh, no, this one isn't a letter. Okay, so that came out nonsense. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go out and then come back in again. And write down everything that appears as I go through every step of the way. Actually, I'm going to go out and go back in to see if it changes. No, that's the same. Every time I go back out and back in, it's the same. Uh, at least that one on the bottom is. And because it is, I'm assuming it's not random because the chance of randomly forming the same lines is not much of a chance. Okay, I'm going for a new page of this. This is going to take a while. Um, I just realized, okay, this symbol is F. If you look at it from here, it's an F. <laughs> so that's an A next to it. But it's Ka. So that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, I'm going to go around in a circle and write down all these symbols um, in vertically. And then I'm going to do one more thing down the golden path and I'm going to do it again. This is going to take a while. Okay, so I tried the first few steps of the golden path recording all 12 of these. And that gave me some nonsense. So then I just did this one for 15 steps along the golden path. And I also got complete nonsense. Uh, yeah, so I gotta think of something new. 
I'm inside the rock. Okay, okay. The clue is unsing the greatest song, the song of the golden path, as seen from within. So unsing suggests that we want to do the golden path backwards. However, as seen from within also suggests to me that we want to do the golden path backwards. However, that's uh, we tried that and it didn't really do anything. We're getting all kinds of symbols. Most of the time they make uh, syllable sounds, but sometimes they don't. And uh, when you do the entire golden path, it doesn't give complete sentence or anything. I guess I could try it one more time and write down what it is. Because like maybe the nonsense symbols mean end of a word or something. Okay, so I've gone all the way through the golden path again. Now I'm going to... Wait, I did write down all of them, didn't I? And shall guy this erv se to Okay, well that must not be it. Because... Um, this is a different starting symbol. So... I'm gonna write them down. Okay, again, that is nonsense and uh, several symbols that are not syllables. So I'm gonna try it again and see if the same things come up. Okay, they are different, but it is quite possible that I inputted the code wrong. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna see if, uh, nope, not any way to walk in there. Okay, I can just teleport through, but I'm gonna try again. Okay, I've done it again and I get something different again. So as I was doing that, another thought struck me that perhaps unsing doesn't mean do the path backwards. Maybe it means do the inputs backwards. So that's what I'm going to try next. Um, instead of starting with down, I'm going to start with up. But still start at the center. Okay, I did it, I think. And it didn't work. <laughs> it did not give me symbols that make sense. Oh, uh, well... Hmm. This one doesn't make sense, but the ones... Nope. No, the ones on the sides don't make sense. The one on the left side makes sense, but the right side does not. So I'm actually going to write the arrows. Because I did that from the path. I'm just going to draw the arrows and try it again. Okay, I've written it down in arrows. And then another thought <laughs> occurred to me as I was doing that. So it says both unsing and as seen from within. So... The as seen from within could be the reverse path, and unsing could mean start from the beginning. That's actually what I'm going to try first. I'm going to try from the beginning instead of from the from the bottom of the golden path, from the beginning. Instead of going up, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do everything backwards. Okay, I went from start to finish, and I did everything backwards. Let's first look and see if any of these symbols are nonsense. Okay, all of them are valid symbols, so let's write them down. Naze or Jofo Akjai Dear the Hung Alhar. Then no, that doesn't say anything. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try my other idea. I'm gonna try. Doing the correct symbols backward again. Okay, that gives us a nonsense to start with. <laughs> so that wasn't it. So another thing I didn't actually mention is that we're seeing here that these symbols are three-dimensional. They're parts of, a, of uh, cubes. Whatever that means. Um... <laughs> From a certain angle, the letter F looks like a letter F. But that's the only thing that really looks like anything. I guess other letters sometimes look like other letters and numbers, but I think that's all coincidental. Yeah, let's see if praying does anything. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Man, I wish it gave you any indication if you were doing anything right. <laughs> 
It, they change all the symbols. That's all that it is. Okay, what what patterns have I tried? I've tried golden path straight backwards with all, all the inputs backwards. I've tried, I, I think I've tried golden path forwards, all inputs forwards. I've tried golden path forwards, all inputs backwards, and I've tried golden path backwards, all inputs forwards. So I guess the only thing I have left to try, and I don't know if I might have already tried this, is just doing the golden path. All right, that's the golden path. And this one is, an, is not a symbol, it's a nonsense. Even when we're over here, it's still nonsense. What about from over here? Okay, it's it that's a symbol. Uh, man, so I'm starting to think uh, about now I have to maybe read the symbols from side positions too. Um, it's getting late. I gotta get up for work tomorrow, so I'm gonna save this for another play session. All right, I confess, I looked up what the answer is, and yeah, this is, I feel, an unfair puzzle. Because from within apparently means mirrored. Like, what? How would you ever figure out mirrored? Like, I guess you could make the argument that it's from within the door in the mountains, like looking out, but like from within does not suggest to me from behind. You know, those are those are completely separate ideas, completely different. I don't know how my brain was supposed to logic that from within meant mirrored. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, tell me, did you figure this out on your own or did you have to look it up? Because I imagine um, somebody figured it out, that's why there's a guy, that's why it's been solved, but I don't imagine very many people have figured it out. If you have logic for it, let me know. I want to know what the logic is. Okay, so start in the middle and do mirrored. I assume it means left-right mirrored. So, down, left, down, down, left. Damn it, that was supposed to be right. Down, left, down, right, right, down, left, down, left, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, up, up, right, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, right, down, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, right, up, right, down, left, down, down, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, left, down! Okay, something's different now. This one's blank. This one has only a circle. Okay, what does this say? Okay, it could say that this is the end of a sentence. Co... Okay, not... Not great. Or a word. Do you... Burr... I gotta turn to my notes page. It's over here. Do you fear the eyes of the Far Shore Co. Why does it say Co?
All right. Well, I guess that is the answer. Do you fear the eyes of the far shore? What's the point of that? The eyes... Which place is the far shore? The far shore is where the, the, the air is, right? Oh man, is there another mystery I'm gonna have to solve? Oh, I'm sorry, but I am too tired of this game to figure out what this means. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, I looked it up and it's freaking obscure. Apparently there's it's mysteries upon mysteries. Like you go to a website and there's a file you download and you look at the file and there's a message in the file and, and nobody knows what it means. So apparently this mystery is yet unsolved, so I don't feel too bad about not solving it. Okay, well, now let's go sing the song of the Golden Path to the Librarian. Hey, I got some wisdom for you. Right, up, left, up. Um. Here to gloat? No. I'm sharing my knowledge. Did I do it wrong? I know I said the wrong thing once, but I thought I pressed it correctly. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I did show it in my notes, but these runes around the word tunic spell out secret legend. And uh, they were on one of the pages of my notes that I shared during that episode, but I didn't mention it out loud. So yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so that's what this says. Pay a visit to a certain someone and share your wisdom. What else could that mean but, you know, pressing, doing the golden path? I'm going to ha stand here where the prompt is. Maybe that was my problem. It didn't work. Do I have to do, I have to do the one for the, the fairy seekers? Are you not impressed? Is this not the person I have to share with? Well, he says, or find the holy cross and share its wisdom. Good luck with that. Um, how do I share it? Press the buttons. How do I share the wisdom of the holy cross? Do I do this one? Up, right, up, left, up, right. I don't understand. Man, I didn't sign on to do a puzzle game. I signed on to do an adventure game. Uh. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to show it to the air. Huh. Oh man, this... I love this game. I really do. I really do love this game. But I just was not... Man, I even said I thought... I even said you should show it to the air, but I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't think that was a right. I just dismissed it. Hi. Look at that. Why, hello! You've grown up so much, child. Huh. 
Hmm. Oh, look at that. They're watching TV with coffee and cookies. Alright, so completing the manual, we managed to save the air and bring them back to life. And, hmm. Oh, I bet these are saying things. L uh, I, I don't want to try to read the stuff. I want to look at the graphics. Oh, so there's people here now. Making a snow angel. That's adorable. Well, this was a great game. I got upset at the obtuse puzzles at the end. That's only because I'm doing a Let's Play. This is a really, really great game. I am so glad to all of you who recommended it to me. Um, I looked at it, when I first looked at it, I thought it was just, oh, it's a Zelda clone and it's cute and uh, I'll just have fun playing it. But no, this was way more than that. This was a mystery. It was got really dark, which I love. You know how much I love the dark stuff on this channel. Um, it was just a blast to play and a blast to get through. You know, as as you know from this episode and the previous episode, or just this episode, I guess, some of those puzzles th at the end were just bananas. They were just crazy, like who would ever figure those out on their own? Obviously some people did, that's why we have guides, that's, you know, that's why the guides exist. Um, assuming the developer didn't just, t um, release the answers to the world, which I assume he didn't. Oh, but yeah, I'm actually glad that those puzzles exist. For those people, it's, you know, it's a community thing, especially that last puzzle, which is still being worked on by the community. It's that's really cool. I love it. I didn't like feeling like I was obliged to solve it myself. <laughs> you know, you know, this the end of this game took me so long to finish because I was just well, for one, I was working at a factory. Um, I've quit now, and uh, I'll have a lot more brain time. I was so exhausted, I couldn't spend time on it. But for the other thing, it was just that, you know, I. I sp I took so much time off of this game because I couldn't solve that puzzle and I felt like I couldn't start another pu another game and I felt like I couldn't look it up because it's like okay this is me playing doing a let's play I have to figure it out I have to do it all myself and uh, at the end I don't feel bad about looking it up you know one of the NPCs says something about maybe a fourth key that you know, maybe that has something. Oh, those are some NPCs that didn't see what they read, or didn't see what they said, I think. Uh, yeah, the graphics, really cute, really nice. Um, the isometric view was interesting, especially when it rotated and things all stayed the same size. That, that was weird and artistic. I liked it. The story, again, the story was really surprising how incredibly I don't want to say the word deep but you know it went into metaphysical stuff you know we're reading the manual it's like oh there's a tear in truth and then there's blah 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 it's fascinating I, I don't know if fascinating is the right word either but it's weird and not what I expected to find in this game but it, it makes sense. It's the whole idea of you're playing this as a kid who doesn't know what's going on and there's so much going on that you don't know what it is. And so you grow and learn and gain wisdom and gain knowledge as you play. And that was pulled off masterfully. I absolutely loved not being able to read at the beginning of the game and just going around and be like, oh, just blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes or no? <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. The music fit perfectly. None of it stuck with me, but it fit the game perfectly. It did very, very well. The combat was pretty cool. The bosses, I love the bosses. I know I complained about a few of them, but that was the that was part of the experience, you know? It was 
showing the emotions and exaggerating them a little bit, you know, like like let's players do. I loved the bosses that made me go at them like 10 times before I beat them because I got to learn them. You know, it's the kind of thing where you have to get good at the game, not just level up. And I love that about the game. I love learning skills, getting skillful at the combat and getting further because I'm getting better as a player, not just because I've grinded and got the numbers up. I love that the grass stayed cut. This is the first game I've played where you cut grass and it doesn't grow back. And I love that. I love being able to cut all the grass because, you know, that's a thing that I like. I love collectibles that don't come back. I love anything that's permanent in a game because it makes me feel like I'm doing something when I do it. As opposed to like coins in Mario 64, which is just, oh, they, they give you a high score and they respawn every time you end the level. I prefer the Spyro the Dragon style where you get the gems and you've collected them for good. I did love the whole spirit puzzles at the end. It reminded me a bit of the, the witness, of the good parts of the witness, and it was just a blast to and I just loved going around the world solving those puzzles. It did seem strange to me that it turned into a puzzle game at the end, you know. I kind of chose this game because I was burnt out on puzzles and wanted to do something that wasn't a puzzle game. And then here we are with these crazy puzzles at the end that I'm like, oh, I gotta do. <laughs> but it worked out, I guess. You know, along the lines with recapturing that feeling of being a kid and not really knowing what's going on, I liked that there were times when I went somewhere and I thought, Surely I'm not supposed to go here yet. These are enemies are way too tough and this is all crazy. Like I should be you know, like this can't be the right way. But it was. Like I felt like I had to sneak in and sequence break in order to go the actual right way. And that's the whole thing about the difficulty of this game. It was great. I loved it. You know, I'm thinking specifically of going into the mines or of going into the quarry where I, you know, you have to go through the monastery in order to find the gas mask. And I was just like, I'm going down here. I got a gun and I've got a sword and I've got a grap. No, I didn't have a gun. I had a grappling hook and I had a powerful sword. And I was like, okay, I just got to fight these enemies one on one, one by one. I have one hit and that's my max health. <laughs> that was so much fun. Anyway. This is exactly the kind of game I want to play on my channel. Something that is artistic in a new direction. You know, something that stands out. Something that matters that it exists. It's not just a Zelda clone. It's not just a Ori clone or Hollow Knight clone. It's something that is its own thing. And it's worth it for its own experience. So if you know of any other games that are like this, let me know in the comments and subscribe for other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.